Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. As customary, let's open our devotional coming to the throne of our Heavenly Father, inviting His presence to be with us today. Heavenly Father, I come before you asking forgiveness of my sins so that my prayer can enter your holy throne. I thank you and I praise you, Lord, because you are faithful, you are just, and you are righteous. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because we can come before you and lay our burdens at your feet. Father, I invite you in your Holy Spirit to dwell with us today. Be in everything that we do, everything that we say, everywhere that we go. Dwell with us, Father God. Lead us and guide us with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for those who are struggling, whether it's financially, whether it's in their marriage or with their children at school or at work, whatever area they are struggling with, Father, I ask that you will wrap your loving arms around them so that they can feel your presence. They can feel your unexplainable peace. Father God, have mercy on those who are seeking you today those who are waiting for your holy spirit i ask that you will visit them in a very special way and give them the seal of their salvation father these things i ask in your son's name amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Today's devotional was written by Jersey Cardenas and translated by Stacy Martinez. It is titled, I Will Answer, Just Cry Out to Me. Our biblical base today comes from Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. So says the word of God, Call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Jeremiah was a prophet that God empowered to admonish the people of Israel because of their sins. He exhorted them to leave behind lies, violence, injustice towards others, hardness of heart, and the worship of other gods. The prophet feared what would happen to the people if they remained estranged from God. He knew the inevitable consequences that would come by divine judgment. Therefore, Jeremiah condemned the grave sins of the people and called them to repent. He implored them to be obedient to the commands of the Lord and not to be rebellious. He wanted the people to cry out to God, the only one who could help them turn from their wicked ways. In the same way today, Christ beseeches you, turn away from evil, Leave the world behind and look ahead and follow me. I want to make you new. I want to crown you and seal you with my Holy Spirit. I want to help and sustain you. Put Jesus first place and let him be the center of your life. You will be transformed. You have the best of teachers, of prophets, let him be your guide. Don't be like the heart hardened Israelites. There is still time. God responds to the call of his children. Amen. My brothers and sisters, once again, the Holy Spirit is speaking to us today. Turn away from your sin turn to your heavenly father look for him submit your life to him and surrender to him he wants to transform you he wants to make you new and most of all he wants to forgive you and give you the seal of his anointment of the holy spirit my brothers and sisters there is nothing that you have done that is going to separate you from god's love 
but you have to repent of your ways if you want forgiveness. There is nothing that you have done that he will not forgive, but you have to repent. My dear brothers and sisters, repent today. That is your invitation. If you have started to walk away or if you have walked away completely, here is your invitation from God himself to come back to his open arms. Don't delay, my brothers and sisters. Come back to him today. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Will you decide now 
to follow Jesus. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back, no turning back, no turning back. I invite you to join us in our daily Bible reading that can be found in John chapter 4, 5, and 6. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great comforter, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.